Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lizette and guys, passion project number one. Yes, I can finally start it. So if you're entirely new here, uh, well, even if you're not new, because this is a new series on my channel, diamond painting passion projects. I'm going to be working on diamond paintings within a specific theme. And the theme that I picked for my first passion project you have seen it in the thumbnail, is light to dark. Okay, and there are three Diamond Art Clubs kits here that I'm going to unbox in this video. And then I'll do an update video once I'm halfway through them. So all three of them, so that's going to take a while. And then I'll do a third video where I show the project finished. And... This whole project got started with this diamond painting. Raina from Maika Jelena. If you've been around on my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Maika Jelena. I saw this diamond painting. I'll put a photo in screen. I saw this diamond painting when it was released and I immediately thought, oh, that's Rihanna. She looks exactly like Rihanna. So that's what she reminded me of. She was called Raina, okay. Um, and the second thing I thought was, ooh, the color palette. Mm, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that color palette. A lot of muted color, browns. I don't like browns. Um, and there were glow-in-the-dark drills. I don't like glow-in-the-dark drills. I don't get them. So there were a lot of reasons not to get it. But she kept intriguing me. So this was the first one on my wish list. And then I thought, okay, how can I make this interesting? And then I thought, I work alongside it with a diamond painting with a lot of colors. So colorful and maybe a round. And then I have this one and then the round colorful one. But I immediately thought, no, that's not going to work because then I'm just going to be tempted to work on the colorful one. Just know yourself, I know that of myself. So that was not going to work. And then there were quite a lot of dark art diamond paintings that were being released. When I started my diamond painting stash detox, there was uh, at the beginning, so two years, more than two years ago, uh, Artemisa came out, I'll put it in screen. And that was the first more dark one that I thought, ooh. So I was like, okay, maybe I can work on that one alongside because that's a color palette that doesn't speak to me either. So maybe just to motivate myself a little bit. Um, but Artemisa, I have seen quite a bit on YouTube. So I was like, no, I don't want to do that one. So, and then I kept thinking and kept thinking and I saw, so I hadn't picked a darker one yet. And I thought, okay, this is brownish, a dark one. And then I need a light one. And I thought, how am I going to do that? Am I going to do a colorful one or a white one? Didn't feel like that. There were some Ennis Guerrero ones that I was like, oh, maybe that's one is interesting. And then... This one was introduced. Purity. This is an Enamorte. And I saw it and I was like, yes, if I could do this one as white or light, this one as uh, in between, and then a dark one. Okay. Ooh. So then I had two. And I was like, okay, now I need the dark one. And there was one that stood out for me immediately. And that's this one. The judgment card. Her face is so stunning. And I'm going to show you. But there was just one funny thing. Because when this one came in. And the other two came in. Oops! <laughs> this one 
always look at the measurements, guys. I hadn't done that. Stupid. So, um, just to let you know the difference. The judgment card, the black one, and it's so dark. 60 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And even when you see the measurement, because I was like, did I see the measurement? I, I think, yeah, I saw it, but 60 by 100, it just didn't resonate, I think. Uh, Raina is 55.8 by 76. And then uh, Purity is 55.8 by 70. So, three diamond paintings, light to dark. And I thought it would be a nice experiment just to do some color palettes that I wouldn't normally be interested in. But maybe if I combine them like this, it could be a project, a passion project. So guys, what do you think? Are you intrigued? I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm most worried about the large dark one, but I hope her face will make everything okay. And, uh, and the other two, oh, I just can't wait to see them myself. So I'm going to put you in the overhead position and I'm going to unbox them one by one. Um, I'm also going to be showing the drills. So if you don't like those parts, just skip ahead. And um, well, in the next video, I'll show you the halfway mark. I can't wait to get started, but as you see, this is quite a large project, so it's going to take me a while. One last thing though, unboxing wise. If you're watching this video, I'm just going to assume that you're familiar with Diamond Art Club diamond paintings and that you have been diamond painting before. So I'm not going to go into the two kits in depth. I'm not going to go about there's a legend there and there. I'm just going to show you the diamond paintings and the drills and I'm going to show you the cover minders and the washi tape that I have. I'm also going to assume that you know about the AB drills and all the special drills that there are. Um, if not, please check out other unboxings first because there are tons of unboxing videos on YouTube where they show and explain everything in detail. I do my unboxings a little bit differently. I'm just going to assume that you're an experienced diamond painter like me and that you have worked on these premium kits before. Okay, ready? Let's go. So we're going to start with Raina because that's the one that got this whole thing started. Oh, oh I can't wait. So we've got the, oh, here's the sticker. The toolkit, but first I want to see the diamond painting. Let's get out the drills. Oh yes! Oh, this is the color palette that I was afraid of. I'll show you. Look, guys, all browns and black. Mostly browns though. Oh, so we've got only 18 colors. A lot of browns. And uh, the AB drill is a 141, is a white. And then we've got a 3371, so a dark brown. But that has got an E in front of it, so that will be the uh, glow in the dark. Right, guys, are you ready? This is going to be the first diamond painting that I show on my channel post detox. So a very special moment for me. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Oh she is so good. This is, this is Rihanna. Rihanna as a fairy. She's got that same attitude about her. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, sorry. I'm not even paying attention to the camera. Can you see her guys? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. But it's all brown. Oh, it's so much brown. Well, I knew that going in. So stop complaining. See it as a project. But wow, her face. I'm going to zoom you in guys. Oh, 
look at her face and look at the jewelry and I assume this yeah this is going to be white ABs and then also in her hand the hand jewelry and that's also Rihanna Rihanna would wear this she really would and then she's got the bodice but also this the collarbone structure look at the rendering wow and then we've got the dress and then I assume yes all those white dots that's all going to be a B oh wow and her hair I always love the hair look <gasps> oh she's so cool yeah I'm really oh and I'm just now noticing okay do you see I thought she had like short hair just that this was all of her hair but look she's got like a ponytail that she's holding so she's got oh wow oh she's even cooler than I thought oh her eyes her eyes are doing it for me the face of this diamond painting isn't this cool guys isn't this cool I haven't seen this one a lot and I know why I absolutely understand it because I have done some Mica Jelinas uh, but they were all quite colorful and the color palette on this one oh that's going to be a challenge but she's so beautiful <laughs> oh I'm so happy that this is the first one that I'm showing you guys oh wow I'm already working on a diamond art club kit for a full review so that's actually the first one that I saw uh, and that's that one's great as well but but this one yeah this one just speaks to me I think because well okay <laughs> maybe some background info I just love Rihanna I think she's she's cool she's smart okay maybe her choice in men isn't um, well and it but it just fits with with her it's all she's she's better she's cool she's she's gorgeous I think she's really smart um, I she's funny um, she she's got uh, a, a beautiful voice of course and I like her music but I just like her overall feel she's cool and that's what this is <gasps> oh wow oh Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, um, 18 drills. I'm going to show the drills now. So if you don't like this, just skip ahead. But that was one of the first things that I've learned after only being able to watch unboxings and not buy the diamond paintings. That sometimes I was like, okay, I would like to know what colors are in there. So I'm really uh, myself interested in the colors. Well, before I did my detox, I couldn't care less about the drills. So, it's just a personal preference. And as I said, if you don't like it, I'm not offended if you skip ahead. Okay. Let me get a starting point. You know what I just noticed? I was like, okay, let me start with the three tens because normally I start with three ten, which is the black for outlining. There are no three tens in this, this kit. There are no three tens in this kit. That is surprising to me because I would have figured that this would have been black with dark brown. No three tens in this entire kit. Okay, are you ready, guys? Here we go. 37 and it's only 18 colors in this one so it will be a quickie 3772 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 bags of a brown <laughs> then we've got the E 
3771. That's the really dark brown. And that's going to be a glow in the dark. Um, I might get a glow in the dark lamp to show you afterwards. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that, guys. I don't care about it, but I know that our girls are going to love such a light. So, and I want to see it myself as well. So I'll get that. I'll make sure to have that by the time this one is finished. So, and I think you're going to use this one for the outlining. Let me just check. Yeah, it's all around her wings. And um, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags. Six bags. Of, that's a lot of bags of that um, glow in the dark drill. Okay, then we've got another brown. 632. One, two, three, four, five bags. And then two bags of 407, which is a lighter brown. <laughs> okay, then we've got another brown. <laughs> Dark brown, 898. A gray, 762. And then we've got some lighter uh, salmon-y colors. Salmon? No, not really salmon. Salmon brown. 758. One, two, three, four, five bags. I think that's going to be the background. So this is a lot of color blocking, guys. Um, is that true? 758. Yeah, okay. So this, all the background is going to be this one. That color. Okay, then we've got another brown. 300. And then 950 which is a really light beige. We've got one, two, three. I actually like that color. Then we've got one, two, three bags of 30, 50, 64, sorry. Another brown. Then we've got another beige, 543, two bags. 938, two dark brown. And then DAB 141, the white one. And just a few 3774. And then the last, well, that didn't take that long. 3861, another brown. 318, gray. 414, dark gray. And 450, light gray. So those are the colors for Raina. I'm going to kit her up, only 18 colors, and I'm going to start working on her. And on the halfway point, you'll see her again. An important part about this one is she's got wings. Keep that in thought while I show you the next diamond painting, which is Purity. Okay, be back in a sec. Oh, no, sorry. I would show you the, um, the washi tape and the um, cover minder. So I got a macaron cover minder, a green one. I've got a pink pen and the washi tape is green, which is kind of surprising with the color palette of the painting. But it's beautiful. And I must say, the amount of washi tape that you get with Diamond Art Club is quite uh, sufficient. Because with the one that I'm already working on, I used the uh, washi tape from the kit. And as I said, it's a large kit. And I, was, it, I could easily do the sides because I do it to um, get the excess glue. So I put it alongside the, the diamond painting. And it, it went easily. Oh, this doesn't have the perforated uh, top layer yet. That's just another point. Okay, on to purity. Bye, Raina. See you soon. Okay, so the next one is purity. And this one I found really, really intriguing as well. Because again, the color palette, you're like, okay, that's going to be boring after a while, all those whites, but maybe not guys, maybe not, we'll just see, okay, okay,
Okay, well, look, this color palette is darker than I would have thought. You see? I would have thought it would have had a lot more white. But again, I see browns. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, we'll just see. <clears throat> right, so Purity, also a square for Enna, from Enna Morte, or is it Enya Morte? Sorry guys, I don't know. I'm going to say Enna Morte, but I think I heard it pronounced multiple times as, as Enya Morte, which sounds better. Enya Morte. I'm just going to say Enya Morte. Okay. Um, a square 55.8 by 70.8 centimeters or 22 by 28 inches, 45 colors. Let me see, one, two ABs, a light pink and a white one, and two uh, Z drills, uh, two fair fairy dust drills, guys. 46 colors in total. Okay, are you ready for this one? Dun, dun, dun! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, there are doves. Look, she's got a dove here and a dove over here. I hadn't seen that one. All these roses that I had anticipated and the pink in her hair, I like that. Then you've got her color, but I'll just zoom in in her face because I think that's rendered quite lovely. Look! Look at her face! Wow! Oh, I'm, I'm impressed, guys. And the fun thing with this one, look, again, wings. Okay, with Raina it was more like fairy wings. These are angel wings, but still wings. The background I like because it's like a Baroque style, uh, which is, well, it, it feels French to me. And then here, down here, we see her dress, which is a ballroom dress, which is quite puffy. And then here we have the cross, and then she's holding her hands like this. But I'm most intrigued by her face. Look! Isn't that beautiful? I like the wings as well. And it's, it's darker than I would have thought. I, would have, I, I thought it was more white, but I think it will be a little bit beige. But look, I think this will be cool. Okay, let's take a look at the color palette, guys. Again, skip ahead if you don't want to see this. I won't be offended. I think we're going to have some browns as well, but other browns than I just saw. <laughs> okay, to start off we've got three bags of 451. Then we've got three bags of 453, which is a light beige. Then we've got Three bags of 3860 brown. Then we've got a 950, a 350, which is a beautiful color. Then we've got 3733, that's the pink. We've got a Z drill, the fairy dust, a light pink 3326. 3772, another brown. And then we've got a beautiful color, which is a very light mint green, light blue. No, green, it's, it's green. 3024. Then we've got two bags of 842, which is another light brown. 3864, brown or beige, whatever you want to call it, guys. Just call it not my favorite colors. And then 414. Okay, this color 
actually pretty funny because I looked it up. They're calling it Pigeon Grey. And I think it has a little bit of a lilac tint in it, but it has one, two, three, four, five bags of Pigeon Grey. Then we've got four bags of 3861, which is only a fragment darker than the 452. Look. Just a very small difference, but okay. Then we've got the 407, 779, another dark brown, 317, 152 a pink, 3835 a purple, 3726, 413, 3731, 141, a small bag of white ABs, 3041, another purple, and 327, another purple. Almost there guys, almost there. Now we've got some really small baggies. 316, 632, 3727, 3799. 961, 128, a very light pink AB drill, 550, a small baggie of purple, 318, 310. Again, look, in Rhina there aren't any 310s and in Purity only this. So I'll make up for the three tens in the <laughs> judgment card, but in these two diamond paintings, almost no three ten, but the more browns. Okay, thirty-eight sixty-three, nine thirty-eight, seven twelve, seven fifty-eight, thirty-seven twelve. If you hear a cat in the background, that's Elvis, one of our cats. He wants to come in. I'll just leave, let him in in a second. 37, 22, 38, 58, 2, 21, 37, 21, 7, 60, 33, 28, and the last one, 30, 64, which is a fairy dust drill, but a brown one. So I'll just show you what's inside the toolkit, at least a uh, cover minder. So I've got a, with this one I've got a orange pen. The cover minder is this little seashell, a white one. And this is the washi tape, which I think is actually well matched with the painting. So this is purity. This is the light one. So light to dark, only dark to go. And I think we'll have enough three tens to make up for the small amount in this one and the fact that in Rhina there aren't any at all. So let's go to the final unboxing of this first Diamond Painting Passion project. Onto the judgment card. Okay, are you ready guys? This is the one that I'm... <laughs> A bit nervous about because it's really a large lot bigger oh, than I had thought. And you know what I have noticed with three of the bags that I got out of my kit, the tweezers fell out of the toolkit. So I don't know if it comes out of the top or in this case yes, but hmm. <laughs> Thank God there's a protection thing on it. Ooh, this one's a lot heavier than the other two. Which makes sense. How many three tenths do you think will be in this one? Okay, let, let's get out the drills. Oh. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a lot of dark color. Okay. Um, 
Yes. So this is an Ennis Guerrero, the judgment card. 60 by 100 centimeter or 23.6 by 39.4 inches and it has 39 colors it has two ab's 118 i think is a dark gray 141 that's the white and it has one uh fairy dust uh, beige grayish color so 29 colors in total Okay, so it doesn't fit on my table like this. I'm going to rearrange and put it in the length of the table. So I'll be right back. Okay, right guys, I'm sorry to say you won't get my first reaction because I tried to film this on a couple of different angles, but I, each time I had immense amounts of glare. So I think this will be the best way to show her in her entirety and then I'm just going to turn the canvas and show her in parts. But first you get to see her in all her glory. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. Look! Wow! And her face guys, it's just so stunning but it's a big painting look this is her face it's just really really big really big and a lot of black but i'm going to turn her like this and i'm going to show you up close because she's worth that so let's zoom in so here in the bottom we see her flute and then out of the flute there's a, like a steam coming and then in the back you see water and those mountains this is her dress there's a key on her dress this is from her wings she's got enormous black angel wings she's got a certain sign on her hand i don't know anything about witches or dark art or anything like that so doesn't say it mean anything to me but maybe it does to you so this is her dress then we come with her beautiful boobies and then we go up and then we get to the most stunning part i love the top part of her dress i must say that i love this part as well also the collarbones just like with um rhina and look at her hair and then the top of her beautiful wing she's got enormous wings so all three of the diamond paintings that was one of the reasons also why i chose this i had forgotten that when i did the intro to mention but all three have wings okay rhina has fairy wings but purity and the judgment card both have um angel wings white one and dark one but then her face i think the the rendering of this one is actually perfect i'll just try and zoom you in a little bit more look isn't that stunning i think that's absolutely beautiful and then you see an what's that called an eclipse over there and then just more dark a dark sky and it's raining and i do think that they will probably highlight this and i think that will be gorgeous once it's done i really like this part as well i think that's cool but those wings look those enor enormous wings but she's big guys oh and her hands that's also always a thing. Let me just zoom in. Because she's holding the flute. I think that will work up okay. I think that's rendered nicely, but we'll have to we'll have to see. So I'm going to go up to her face because that's the part that I'm absolutely in love with and I'm going to get the drills right so a lot of black as we have thought 29 colors 
if you want to skip ahead, well, again, you can, but probably you will be at the end of the video because after the drills, I don't think I have a lot more to say, but okay, still, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, how many bags of three tens do you think this one has? I think about 10. I think 10, okay. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we're still going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen bags of three ten in this one. Well, that was to be expected. Then we've got three bags of eight forty-four, which is a dark gray. And then we have two bags of 938 which is again a dark brown and then we've got a really small amount of the beige fairy dust but it really is just a little bit so that's a really small amount okay then we have two bags of 37.99 Two bags of 779 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 3371. And the 3371 with Rhina was with the um, uh, glow in the dark drills, but this is just the normal 3371. 3861, 451. I see a lot of familiar colors, don't you? 3864, 318, three bags of 838. We've seen that one in drill counts as well. 317, two bags. So this is 118, it's a gray AB. It gives me a bit of a bluish feel when I see it like this. But we're just going to have to see on the canvas. Two bags of 3860, two bags of 414, 839, 842, we know those as well, 939, which is a really dark blue, 898, 415, 141, a small bag of ABs, 823. 951, 841, 3859, 712, 3064, and just a couple of 816, which is for the triangle on her hand and maybe in her mouth. Okay, guys, are you still with me? Those were the three unboxings of my first diamond painting passion project. I can't wait to hear what you think about my choices. Um, I have gotten a lot of messages like, oh, I can't wait to see what you buy first. And uh, I don't think many of you had suspected that I was going to get these three. Let me know what you think. Do you like them? Do you have any of them? Or have you worked on any of them? And uh, what are you looking most forward to? I'm going to do the three ladies um, and I'm going to show you the halfway point. That will be the next video. And I'm going, I always start my diamond paintings. My preference is to start in the bottom left side. I'm a lefty and I just find working that way is easiest. Once I have placed the drills, I hold my hand on the drills. I, I find that really a, f a nice feeling. Um, also, just like with the other two, none of these three have uh, a perforated top layer yet. I just wanted to let you know. Oh, and you want to know the... Or maybe you don't, but I'm just going to show you. <laughs> What's, oh, this one has a purple pen. Uh, a purple pen, another green macaron. So now I've got two macarons. 
And this is a beautiful washi tape to go with this kit. Dark and with little flowers on it. I really like this one. Okay, so as I was saying, I start in the bottom left size and work my way up to about the halfway point. I'm going to do that for all three and then I'm going to share my experience with you working on them thus far. So with all three, the faces won't be done in the halfway point video because I'm going to save those for the last part. But of all the faces of all three, this face is my favorite. But I do think that this will be one of the harder ones to finish. There's a lot of color blocking, guys, in the top part. And let me see, yeah, there's quite a lot of color blocking in this one. Okay, I'm not a color blocking fan, as you may know, but um, only in the wings. So this, I do think this will work up quickly, but still it's a large diamond painting. But she's stunning. Well guys, let me know what you think. I hope you liked this video. If so, give me a thumbs up on your way out. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching.